and French President Francois Hollande plan to better coordinate the fight against ISIS. NBC's Steve Handelsman is at the White House with more. Leaving France on high alert, President Francois Hollande joined President Obama to vow a better coordinated war against ISIS. It must be destroyed and we must do it together. Avoir une réponse commune. We need a joint response. Olong goes to Moscow this week, but his plan to get Russia into the coalition may have been shot down in Syria. With the Russian warplane today, the Turks, U.S. allies say the jet was attacking pro-Western rebels and flew into Turkish airspace and was fired on after 10 warnings. The two Russian pilots bailed out. Rebels claim they killed one. Russian President Vladimir Putin called the shoot-down a stab in the back. Mr. Obama begged the Russians and the Turks to talk. And take measures to uh, discourage any kind of escalation. But as the French step up their air war against ISIS, along with the U.S., the Russians could retaliate by stepping up attacks on pro-U.S. rebels. And there's no agreement on whose ground forces will fight ISIS. They did agree to share airline passenger lists and to get other nations, too, in an effort to spot terrorists on the move. Meantime, Mr. Obama warned Americans against fear and to take in 10,000 Syrian refugees. All of us must show that America is strengthened by people of every faith and every background. Allah and France are taking in 30,000 Syrian refugees. I'm Steve Handels, NBC News, Washington. President Obama goes to Paris next week for a climate summit. It's not been postponed due to the attacks. 